Not surprisingly, they're streamlining menus. Uh, if you look at the uh, yellow bars, which are the proportion of those operator groups, which indicated they were offering fewer menu items, uh, you can see that it's really the table service, those three left-hand bar groups there uh, that have streamlined, but the uh, quick service also has, uh, although not on the same scope. Also too, over the past 10 months, there's been this, uh, we call it streetery, uh, basically operators that have added outdoor seating uh, in some venue. And uh, this really has been a lifeline, uh, particularly for table service operators. And looking forward, part of these uh, permissions from these municipalities to utilize these outdoor areas uh, will continue post pandemic uh, because they have proved so popular. Uh, but the fact is, this will vary uh, across different uh, metropolitan areas. So, as you would expect, with a greater emphasis on that off-premises market, uh, restaurant operators, and once again in the table service segment more than the quick service, have upgraded their takeout and delivery packaging. Part of this has to do with preserving that product integrity and also the development of these uh, ghost kitchens, these virtual restaurants that diminish the amount of transit time that is required. Another lifeline for the operator community has been the ability to add alcohol beverages to these off-premises orders. So uh, if you look at the consumer sentiment about how it figures into their restaurant choices, uh, obviously, for millennials, over half say it's more likely to, for them to choose a restaurant based on that option of having alcohol available. And once again, there's certain municipalities and areas that will allow this to continue uh, in the post-pandemic environment. Also, the idea of how consumers pay for their meals is rapidly changing. In addition to the rapid ad advent of mobile pay, uh, basically restaurant meal subscription plans uh, are more likely to be offered. And some of these models will continue going forward. And uh, particularly for younger cohorts, uh, they're much more used to that Netflix model of, of a subscription plan and the ability to have different levels of plan participation. But you can see over 70% of millennials are likely to participate in a meal subscription program. And so this is being done successfully in some segments under certain brands and operations. And obviously, how consumers pay for a restaurant meal in America is rapidly changing. Also, not to be underestimated in importance is the role of technology in the advent of these off-premises occasions and the selection of menu items before even going on site. When you ask consumers, uh, they're quite comfortable with technology in the front of the house, back of the house, and on the smartphone. And so where they wanna see more technology incorporated is in the customer service and the convenience arenas, as well as the payment. Uh, so going forward, much of this investment in technology uh, will result in increased efficiency and productivity gains in many of these restaurant operations. And so finally, when you ask the operators, how likely are they to keep uh, these changes in this post uh, COVID environment. Uh, you can see the yellow bars there basically indicate that they're gonna, going to keep some of these changes. Uh, the red bars are none. You can see that's a minimal amount. Uh, and roughly about one out of four say they're going to keep all the changes. But the fact is, many of these changes were actually in place in the industry prior to the onset of the pandemic. And the pandemic has basically accelerated uh, the rate of adaptation of many of these. 